So today we're gonna talk about the side part. Uh, it's making its way back. Mine never left either. I always had a side part. I'm gonna walk over to the studio real quick and we are going to get started. All right, so I'm gonna comb everything back. What I wanna do is the barely there is the part that we're talking about, right? What does barely there mean? It just means that it's barely a side parting and how that side parting kind of worked, it was based like this. So it came off to the side, but then came up towards the middle and then the volume and the layers were cut to go this way and then cut to come the other way. So when I start to assess this head of hair, I start thinking about how I wanna block out the sectioning, but still thinking about the FSE digital hair cutting system. So I wanna work through the top of this first. We're gonna go straight down the center. I do feel like the thought process of curly hair is a little more literal. With a curly haircut, I part it down the center because I wanna find my center point. But because we're doing a barely there side parting, right? So it's barely there. So it ends in the center. Now I can cut or I can carve my parting out and go down here and then take away that. And now we've got what's going to be our side parting. So there's our center. So now I've got my high point, which is right here. I'm just going to draw a line over to the edge of the eyebrow. So that's our piece that's going to be our side parting. Now I'm going to draw from the high point here down also to the edge of the eyebrow. Also love, these are the new combs that I have on the website. And when you're working with curly hair, I love uh, the 705 comb because it's got nice wide teeth, but also if you wanna go a little more uh, precise at the root, you can pull with the tighter teeth, um, but most of it I go through here. So there's our first two sections there. Now I'm going to draw a circle in the crown. So I'm gonna take out the crown area. We're gonna work around this. So Pac-Man shape, two triangles. This is where the side parting is going to live. So now all we have to do is work our way through this underneath section and decide how we want to cut it. What we want to do is we want to remove and build up this shape. I'm going to run a conditioner through the hair because I like to really start working some of my products into the hair so I don't get it all dried out. So this is Tea Tree Hemp Multitasking Spray. So I'll spray this on. I love this product. The technical thing that this does is all-in-one style prep. It's going to hydrate and detangle the hair while adding soft style memory. And then this is a Tea Tree Hemp Restoring uh, Conditioner and Body Lotion, two-in-one hydration. So you can use it as a conditioner. I just like to add a little bit to the hair. By little bit, I mean like much. And I'll run that through my section because you really just can't condition enough. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut to create a little bit of shape, then do a soft little dry, and then I'll do a little bit of dry cutting to, to finalize the shape. All right, so I'm gonna take vertical sections. I wanna start by building this shape out here. Here's the other thing with curly hair. First off, you gotta be careful with tension. You don't wanna pull too tight. The other thing is when I cut hair here and it's straight hair, and I cut this line, when I drop it, I kind of visualize what it's gonna do. When I cut curly hair with the same line, it's gonna automatically just start to stack up. So you just gotta be aware of how the hair will react and really take a look at your shape as you're cutting it. I'm gonna start right in the front here, combing this hair. I'm using the loose teeth of the comb and I'm barely squeezing with my hands. And I want to start removing these ends. Clean it up. Start to see that harder line. See how that's like a fuzzier line? get a nice clean line when you cut wet. We're gonna work a traveling guide around the head. So that was our first section. Then we're gonna move and travel all the way around the head. So think about this as a clock here. So this is about one o'clock right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna go back around to 11 and we're gonna start working 11 and then back to 10, nine, eight, seven, six. That's how we're gonna work around the head. Our body will be moving around the whole time. So I wanna make sure with the traveling guide and a, a round shape or an open shape that we're creating here on the head, I wanna make sure that my body's here in front of the section and then I move, bam, right here to section three. 
then bam, right here to four. Then my feet go to five, my feet go to six, right? You just keep working around. Your feet should constantly be moving. People don't take into consideration that these guys are pretty important um, as you work around ahead. So I cut section one already. Now I wanna grab section two and I'm going to comb the hair halfway to section two and cut. Now I'm gonna grab section four and then I'm only grabbing three o'clock, right? Bringing three o'clock halfway to four o'clock. And this part is gonna be a little more layered because the head shape curves in right here. We're gonna come in, see my guide through. Remember, I'm not squeezing the hair or pulling it tight. Just working our way into the back. Look at the shape we got. This flat, it's kinda hanging. We got a nice, beautiful shape right there. So that worked our way back to six o'clock. Now we're going to go over to 11 o'clock. We're going to do the same thing. Now, somebody out there in the internet world is thinking, where do you get your guide from on this side? And the guide is visualized. You're not gonna be able to get a perfect guide every single time. So what I wanna do is I wanna see, I kinda know my shape. I look at bits of the face, see the angle on her face here? Or I might say, I know my angle here and I'm pointing maybe at uh, the edge of her lip. So you can create points on the face to judge where your guideline is gonna be. Come around here, got my section. I guess this way I'll scoop. Bring 11 o'clock to like 10 and a half. Bring 10 over towards 11. So they're meeting in the middle. And I'm physically feeling the hair crawl, like kind of going through my fingers because it's wanting to pull itself back. And that's a good thing. You want, that means you're good on the tension. Same thing here. Now I'm just gonna go through and elevate the top edge of this. work my feet around, checking the, the shape horizontally. Also, if I give myself a little elevation as I come around on the top edge of this vertical line, it'll give me just a, a nice little light rounded effect. Won't be so bulky. So now what we've got here is a shape that follows the hairline. So you'll see it get longer, kind of tail-like in the back. That's because we followed the round of the head and the hairline drops right here. So that hole that you know you learn in beauty school, it's not really a bad thing, it's just a thing. So yes, I'm going to dry the hair right now, real quick, do a little bit more conditioner and I'm gonna mix that conditioner with, this is a twirl around from Paul Mitchell. Like this product, it's a two in one, so it's got a cream and a gel. So I put a little extra conditioner in there, work that through my hands. Really work that in the hair. Then once I start getting that product in the hair, I'll grab little pieces of it and I'm just gonna twist to start defining some of these curls in here. So take little, little squares out, put the product running through. The biggest reason I'm doing this is because when you go through and cut a precision cut on curly hair, you start to separate all the curls. Now I'm gonna use a diffuser on low. We're gonna work through these curls. Low airflow, medium heat. All right, so here's what we're gonna do next. I want to, I want to start cutting into the top. I'm gonna let this do a little more natural drying as well. So we're gonna be working uh, first in this top Pac-Man section. When I bring that section out, it's been tight and kind of curled up into a, uh, a little bit of wave to it, but it's pretty frizzy. I'm gonna grab some conditioner in my hand. I always like to have conditioner in my hands when I'm working through a section. I also wanna start working conditioner into this section. We've got this whole crown section. I'm gonna bring it up to the high point of the head, and I'm not going to use a guide to determine anything on this section. The reason for that is I don't want them to be the same, and I wanna cut volume into the top portion of the head. So when you look at how I'm combing this up, 
I'm combing it up all together and I wanna let out some of that tension and I'm just gonna work across the top. So what's happening? Shortest point will be right at the high point of the head. Longest point will be down towards the rest of the hair. So this will be the longest point here. I want that extra volume at the top of the head. Now, we move into the side portion of the head. Now I'm gonna cut the side that's going to be my side parting. This is my side parting. It's gonna work its way back towards the back of the head. So I will comb this towards me, like this, using the wide teeth of my comb over the parting. Let the tension go. Decide where you're going to cut, how much length you want in the cut. Now I'm working with a round surface, right? So I don't wanna just elevate everything up and cut it because this will be the longest point. I want that point to work its way back into the head. So I'll comb one more time and follow the round of the head a little bit. So the last section that we're gonna work with is right here. This is the section that continues to fall back. That I wanna blend into the sides. I don't need it to blend with this section here. I need it to blend so that it doesn't get super heavy right here. So what I'm gonna do is connect this side piece here. There's our parting here, and it comes up into this center point. And then you've got this hair that kind of comes around, up and over. And then I've got this little disconnect, which I'm going to be cutting into on the side. So let's start getting some product in there, and then we're going to style. So I'm gonna do the same product combination. So this is the Tea Tree Multitasking Spray. And I'm gonna add a combo of Paul Mitchell Twirl Around. All right, and these two products combined, I'll start working them through the top section of the head. I'll start in the back here, grab a little bit at a time, twist it in my fingers, add that curl in. All right, so a little pinch cutting at the bottom. What are my curly hair cutting friends think? That heavy neck. Yay or nay. Appreciate all of you guys. Make sure you subscribe, get me to that million subscribers. Um, and that's it. Thank you guys. Have a great day, all of you. Thank you. Um, and I'll see you soon. All right, goodbye.